Next, we go to Shippensburg University to see how liberal arts skills can be applied in many career applications. So being here at Shippensburg, I'd have to say the biggest thing for me is that I feel like a person and not a number. You're not just born to pay bills and go away after a while. Um, you're here for a reason and this place has helped me figure out what my reason is. You can pick something that you're really into. It's not just college, you know, it's, it's not, college isn't meant to get you a job. You're here to develop yourself and figure out just what you're capable of. The liberal arts aims to provide students with educational experiences that just broaden their knowledge base, broaden their horizons, and give them a set of tools that they take with them into the world. Critical thinking, problem solving, the ability to filter knowledge, uh, the ability to synthesize new knowledge, uh, all of those require a base of knowledge from which to select. Uh, they require a skill to go out and gain new knowledge, and liberal arts really aims to do, to do just that. I think that we give our liberal arts graduates a lot of skills, and certainly they get these in, in many, many fields, but the liberal arts specifically are going to be focusing on the ones that um, help students deal with people or with, um, with, with problems. So we have a lot of focus on communication skills and writing skills. I'm going to quote Dr. Liu. Um, he always says that life is a mystery and you never know when you're, wh uh, where you're going to end up and college is the perfect place to start to figure that out. So a liberal arts degree, in my opinion, is a wonderful foundation in terms of communicating with people, bettering yourself. I think one of the untold stories in Pennsylvania is how m much of a value added education you could get at Chippensburg University. An employer tends to say to somebody, okay, there's X number of graduates coming out of Pennsylvania schools bearing your degrees. What is it that sets you apart? We have a lot of collaborative assignments and projects, for instance, in our classes. Employers always say, we want people who can work in a team and we do that every day in the liberal arts. That is something that we're, we just, it's part of what we do. So students have to come together, they have to sit down, they're different majors, they come with different skill sets, but it's like, here's our project, how are we gonna solve this problem? And then they do, <laughs> that's what they do every day. Something that concerns me as a dean of the College of Arts and Sciences is that people will often misjudge what it is that you gain from coming to a liberal arts school to get your degree because there's not a strong association of the degree title with a job and one of the things we're working very hard to do is to help students associate those career pathways not just jobs but career pathways with the educational experience that they've had here. So there are all these new jobs as well that our students are really poised well to take over. Students don't quite sometimes see how good of a fit they are. They, they underestimate the skills that they're getting with a liberal arts education. Investing in yourself is one of the best things that you can do. College isn't just a place you go to get a piece of paper that says, oh, I can do something and I can earn money. It's something that you do when you want to better yourself. If you're looking for an investment and one that will stick with you, this is for you, for sure.